We're live. Hello. We're not live. I am very. I will go up better than I did last this time last year. Oh. Um. What's the date? Eighteenth of March. March. Just. I need to get cases. <laughs> My vlog's inconvenient. Um. What time is it? It's like half five in the half four. four. Half four in the morning. I'm on the way to Manchester Airport to go skiing. Yeah. <laughs> Evening. Evening? I was at a gym workout this morning. Yes. I'm wearing these trainers, which are the coolest trainers known to man. And Emma and Tommy, in some kind of fit of jealousy, are trying to tell me that they're outdated and it's the old trend. Not outdated. You, just, you, you just made the comment that mine aren't as cool. Yours aren't as cool. Nobody's are as cool. They're literally cool. Uh, these are the coolest trainers known to man. You, you matching my jacket. Sorry. Skiing 2023. Look how nice this place is. And it's super quiet. Emma's on to the bar to order. We're having espresso martinis and I'm having a full English breakfast, which I would never normally have. But, well, I don't know, I'm just gonna slam that down. What? You've not got what? Oh, she's forgotten a bank card. Oh, that's, that's Andy. Not daft, is she? It's come to 85 quid. You are joking. Yeah, yeah well, we've got two espresso martinis as well. Who are you and talking to? Mum. Have you told her that you forgot your bank card? Oh, I forgot my bank card, Mum. <laughs> Who's paid that 85 quid then? No, I've got my I've got my NatWest card. I've just not got my Monzo. Oh, there's going to be a lot of bank charges for you then. I guess I've done it on purpose. The blog misses you, Mum. Oh. Does he? Yeah. No. That's a shame. We need a FaceTime to get you back in. Oh my god, be, give me plenty of warning if you're doing anything like that. There's no drama because everyone's got the contact lenses. Just not oh, bank yes cards. Oh yes there is, just the bank card. Actually, contact lenses were alright. Tommy and Emma had to get their bag pulled and do the extra search through security. I already told them. Right, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna get your flash. Oh also, we paid for fast track security and that was a longer queue <laughs> than just the standard line. You're joking. I'm not joking. Also, it took us an hour and 15 minutes oh, to get from the- moaning. I'm not moaning, I'm stating facts. An hour and 15 minutes to get from the car through it to, um, yeah, happy about that. Through to <laughs> here. What was your class this as? The other side. I think there was 1,400 calories in this. <laughs> That's how much this came to. 50 quid. pounds. Still talking about that. Yeah. I'm, I'm you tell me off for whinging and then listen. As soon as money's concerned. Oh, by the way, I forgot my Monzo card. That's done me in. Can't have any more of that. We had some feedback from the Disney box. Apparently, I look very miserable. So, you think I look miserable in Disney where you see me ski? Because Dad says that when I ski, I go down like this. You do. Smiler. <laughs> um, because I am a nervous traveller, so I'm sat here now, you can see all the planes out the windows. And reality started kicking in that I'm about to go on an unnatural metal heavy object flying through the air, so now I feel anxious and I can't eat. Um, but I can drink, and do you know that the three beans stand for health, wealth and happiness? Right, I'm going straight to sleep now. So we'll see when we get there. Comedian this guy. Landed, knew it. It was really about landing. Like I literally went forward in my seat, and he was like four out of ten for that landing. Trendy as me. Oh, she's so jealous. Look at that helicopter, it's flying like that. It's weird this airport. Start queuing outside. Just like a little shed. Just come out of the passport check into this one room, which is crazy. And we are literally the first off our plane as well. Welcome to the furnace. 
this coach is insane. I've had to sit in the aisle seat because the window seat's got a radiator down the bottom and that was a no from me. I've come to stand outside because I know it sounds dramatic, but you don't even know how hot that coach is. I don't want to end up feeling sick before you've even left the airport. Um, I'm really not a good traveller, if you haven't guessed. But um, when I came out, the, the French lady stood here and I said, are you the driver? And I mimed the driver and she said, yeah. And then in French, I said, how many people? And then in French, she replied 50. And then I was feeling really smug thinking, oh gosh, fluent. And then she was like, oh, and yeah, I don't have a clue. So it's gonna be around 50 people. And so far I was about 20. I bet everyone's getting a brew. They've got like a burger van and stuff, things like that slept the whole plane journey which was great but I kept waking up because I could tell that I was sleeping with my mouth open <laughs> I kept waking up like um I actually dribbled at one point as well I'm not sure if that's focused or not but it's saying um, can't tell it's saying it's a one and a half hour transfer but officially it's two and a half hours. so we're halfway but it's now saying it's going to take two hours because we've hit traffic. That's what the French countryside looks like. Well, just cyclists keep going up and down that little um, strip there. I'm listening to the Shits and Gigs podcast and it's really making me laugh. Okay. A significant chunk of time has passed. We're talking hours, hours and hours. And this coach is so hot, and I am literally at my wits' end now. Set off at half four. It's now five o'clock, so we're at four o'clock English time, and we've just arrived at the hotel. What a nightmare that's been. We're now at the hotel. Kate's checking in. There's a massive queue. So by six, we might have actually checked in. Kate in. I thought she's the one that's not happy. She wants to stand. Oh. You know, you said the mega views. It's another building. Ooh. <laughs> Hang on. You can only have one door open at a time. Come on. Welcome. Apartment section. To my crib. Hang on, so there's no living room. Wait. So it's just bedrooms. It's not really an apartment, is it? It's definitely not an apartment. There it is, look. It's got a living room. Well, I... Oh, um, hang on. We've got the better room. <laughs> I can't believe of all the views. You've got the better room. Does that connect? What else is in here? Right, bed. Is that another bedroom? Toilet. Oh, that would so be the bathroom. The cupboard. That's the cupboard. No, it'll be shower. Well, me and Emma both agree that that's been the worst ski travel day we've ever had. It's taken us six and a half hours to get into the room, um, which is awful. But let me show you the best skiing packing tip of all time is it on yeah sorry nice so uh, oh hold on so in this bag oh well <laughs> thanks turn that off i'll delete this clip start again <laughs> <It's a fail. laughs> okay so here's the best skiing packing hack so i've got six food bags one for each ski day and in each food bag there's a skiing base layer top base layer bottoms pair of knickers and sports bra so every day, just get up, bang, there's an outfit for the day. No messing around with base layers, what's clean, what's not. You just, bing, Monday. This is a sniff test. Tuesday. No sniff test over here. No, sir. Voila. Well, I am very happy with my little room. I've got all my skiing clothes hung up there behind the door. I've got a wardrobe. Ooh, that was going to fall down then. 
Um, they're all just shoved in there, standard. This is only my makeup station, because we don't need a kitchen. <laughs> so I've got all my makeup and stuff here, my hair dryer and straighteners, and I can just pull up a chair there and do it in the mirror. That's nice. All of this, ready to go tomorrow. Nice. Bathroom's nice as well. Modern. Oh. Yeah, very happy with my room. How's it going? Are you ready to go? I'm hungry. We've got a nice pool. We're happy with this hotel, aren't we? Very happy. Sounds hey, amazing. That might be the first positive thing that I've said all day. I think it is. <laughs> Both of you. No, about your packing as well. Oh, that was a good oh, packing hat. Congratulate myself all the time on my packing. This is the hotel reception. It's also nice. And look at the sunset. Good. I'd like to be cool today after the hell that was that bus. Oh, sorry. Accidentally started whinging again. Whoops. What's the positive? It was a free song. No, the positive is it looks absolutely lovely, aren't you? Yeah. And the GoPro is pretty much just picking up the car park. But in real life, the sky looks great. I think we need to go that way, don't we? So we can get to the edge of So in terms of hotel location and ski and ski out ability, that's the boot room there. You can see the, the, the like the, it's not an awning, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. porch. Across the road. Look at that. The grizzly. It's not quite about to end walking distance, but we cross the road. Yeah, well that's bad. I mean, it's taken us two minutes to watch it. Oh, I love all this stuff. All this cutesy stuff. Love it. Thimbles, what are they for nowadays? How weird is this? All these soups are not refrigerated. Is that pate? Oh my god, unrefrigerated pate. Is it cute? They're all mixed fruit though. Number like this. Music and lights is playing. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna get some cheese. Ah, here's the bakery section. I could just have cheese and baguette, you know. Cheese, butter and baguette. Every night when we and get in. Get. Tommy likes this jumper. I like that one. And look at those knickers there that we smack on. <laughs> we went the wrong way. <laughs> now we're off-roading. Oh my god, it's slippy. This is scary. <laughs> this is our haul. Got some wine. This is the wine that I have at Miller and Carter. <laughs> I really like it. And then the cheap version. And a baguette, and then snacks, crisps, jaffa cakes. What else did we buy? We've got cheeses and meats and olives. And um, this. Yeah. This is our hotel restaurant called The Chairlift. Favorite song. Oh, crazy. When in France, we drink margaritas with <laughs> escargot. I don't. I drink red wine. Oh, classy. Tommy watches rugby. <laughs> Are you excited from a lot of. I can't believe you weren't going to have one of these. Oh, no, I thought you were joking. No, we're getting deadly serious. I mean, you go first. I need this. I'll just use my I want to see your reaction. I'm all, do you know what? I'm, I'm already not, not entirely on board. We'll just put it straight for it. I'm just going to use this. It's like crystal maze. Pretty woman. Slippery little suckers. God. Slippery little suckers. She doesn't get it when you're on, I think. There we go. Oh no. It's just like a garlic mushroom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Tell me, are you ready? Oh, that's on that. Well, talk us through it. 
garlic mushroom. Not gristly. No. Not chewy. Rabbit it's nail than mushroom. <laughs> Your go. Quickly. Ready? <laughs> well, just use mushroom. Right, it's nice. <laughs> it's not nice. Oh, okay, good. Oh yeah, it's slipping around. Yeah, it? it's hard to even Kate struggling. Even Kate? What, the snail? Yeah. yeah. To be to continue. It's, it's funny because it's the opposite of pincers, so I, I keep trying to squeeze it tight and squeeze it tight releases it. Why is mine massive? Kate, you the size of that. Honestly, they're nice. It just tastes like a garlic. It's the thought of it that makes you feel weird. They're nice, aren't they? It just tastes like garlic, but... Yeah. Garlic mushroom. I'm yeah. just picturing what a slug looks like. It's not a slug. It's a slug with a crash helmet. <laughs> oh, I've got my second glass of wine. I've got my steak and chips, and the chips look great. Emma's copied me. Pepper sauce. Tommy, you never would have touched that when you first met Emma. It's true. Now look at you. Eating stales, I've got the sauce, it's my change, boy. Boy. This is huge saucy. I've never seen that is a massive. Massive sauce. I was expecting orange. It's not quite Suzette's. We've just come back to the hotel after our meal. The meal was in the hotel. It is, but it's not. It's no, not. It, it fully is. is. No, but it's not part. Like, it is part. It's attached, but it's. It's not attached. Separate. It's in the. It's no. No, it it's is. in the hotel. They don't offer food. What do you mean? Like they don't. This isn't like. It's not all inclusive, but the restaurant is in the hotel. Right. Well, we just got we just got back out of the room anyway. Um, the food was looked better than it actually was. The yeah. chips looked a lot better than they was. The steak had a bit of a funny taste for me. I don't know what, what? it was. The My meat... steak tasted fine. It was just a bit tough, but it was fine. It was, well, it was fine. It was like it was, a... Yeah, yeah. Homely meal. It yeah. wasn't nothing fancy. The, I enjoyed the snails actually. The steak was it was good. Mm. It was all right. It just wasn't as good as last holiday. And then the dessert. I thought I ordered crepes dessert, but it was actually just crepe with quantro. It tasted like straight. Quantro. You literally ordered crepe with quantro. I know, but I thought it was a crepe dessert. So I was. And this is Miss gluten free, unless it's a dessert. Well, I had a bit of cake. Yeah. 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 It's a mild intolerance cake. Back off. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just ready to go to bed now. Absolutely knackered, aren't we? So tomorrow the plan is to get up at half nine. Well, be, well, be out, be out, 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 yeah, out at half nine. So up at probably eight or something like that. Eight. Yeah, cause I like snooze till quarter past, and then get out. I'm having breakfast. Oh yeah. And a oh, coffee yeah. and stuff. Oh no, forget that. Okay. Maximize sleep. Sod the coffee. If it's half nine, we're gonna go into bed in a minute. That's a long sleep. That's well, that's like ten hours sleep. Oh, only just enough. <laughs> right. So good night. Good night.